Good morning. Merry Christmas Eve. Hope everybody is doing great this morning. Hope you're getting up, getting ready for um, however you spend your holidays. Hope everybody is um, has been good and is on Santa's nice list. Um, this morning we are having chocolate salted caramel. I've gotten it into my blender cup and we're gonna get going. It is 6.30 and the bags are fierce today. Let me tell you, I did not sleep well last night. Um, I'm not sure why, I just did not sleep well. So I have my shake, I have a huge bottle of water and today is gonna be a great day. Um, so I cheated today. I got on my scale at my house. Um, I got on my scale at my house and I, I said I was only going to weigh on Saturdays, but my clothes felt like they were fitting a little different. And so I really wanted to see um, what kind of progress I was making. Here we go in the dark video again. <clears throat> so, um, I still haven't made it to the gym. Surprise! It's not a surprise. <laughs> um, I had talked a little bit yesterday about, I felt like maybe I was just gonna wait until after Christmas. Um, to start going to the gym so that there wouldn't be that lag if if they were closed on Christmas. And then I found out they're not closed on Christmas. So <clears throat> it's okay, it's okay. I'm still going to, my plan is to start going the day after Christmas, so Friday, um, to get that gym routine started. It's been two weeks. Has it been two weeks? A week since I started, since I just signed up for the new gym? No, it's been, Oh my gosh, time has been melting together because our lovely friend COVID. Um, I feel like it's been two weeks. It probably has not. Yes, it has. I don't know, I don't know. I really can't make sense of anything this morning time-wise. Um, so, Work is gonna be interesting for the next two days. Yesterday, we participated in, um, there were a few of us in administrative management that passed out a couple of presents to the residents, just kind of as a, you know, um, happy holidays, we love you kind of thing. Some, all the gifts were donated by our dietary manager's um, church, and they came in these really cute little bags, and, um, everybody in the facility got a bag and it had multiple little gifts in it and it was super, super cute. And today, um, we are preparing for the big finale tomorrow. Um, I had told you guys in one of the other videos that the activities director and I had spoken about taking a backdrop and getting pictures of the residents with all their presents because they're going to have so many presents. Um, we were going to do it yesterday and I just really was like, I don't know, there, it was just something in me. I felt like we needed to do it on Christmas because typically in a nursing home on Christmas day, your family comes and you sit with them and you open your presents and um, I didn't want it to be any different for the residents. I, I know that their families can't come in, so we're having to substitute ourselves as their family, but I just really felt led that we needed to do it on Christmas. So, I had to work on Christmas Eve and Christmas anyway, so I told the activities director that she and I are gonna do it tomorrow. Hopefully, the person with the backdrop remembers to bring it today so that we can make these lovely pictures for their families to send to them. I'm, I'm super excited about it. I legitimately have no time in my day to be doing this. I don't. Um, 
I'm so far behind on things that I really need to get under control and my job has really been put on the back burner because of other issues in the facility I work in. I've been having to cover and do quite a few other things and it's just gotten to a point where my job's not suffering but it's not being done as well as it normally would be done. And so I'm really frustrated at that. But at the same time, even though I don't have the hours in my day to get my stuff done and help out on the floor, I am just convinced that this is the correct thing to do. To get up tomorrow morning and dress up all Christmassy with bells and lights and um, go around to all these residents and take their pictures and I just have a feeling that it's going to be a great time. I also get to go Saturday and see my grandkids. So I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited to be able to go over and watch them open their gifts and spend time with them and love on them. I don't get to do it very often. Um, I will not do it if we have active COVID in our building. And even though I'm not working directly on the COVID unit, I do have exposure to the COVID unit. I, I, um, there, there's just certain reasons why I have to go um, into the entryway of the COVID unit and it's a little scary to think that I might take the virus home to my grandkids. So I don't, when we have active COVID, I don't normally go over there. Now the active COVID that we have right now, um, they are on Friday will be the end of their CDC recommended quarantine and I'm going to my son's house on Saturday and so I feel like it should be okay um, of course I'll still be wearing my mask and have not been I will have not been at work that day so um, there won't be any like topical exposure it's not like I'm coming straight home from work to go see them so I'm really excited about that my granddaughter wants a Minnie Mouse, um, one of those battery operated little car things. And so that's what she's getting. And then the baby, he doesn't know what he wants because the only thing he ever wants is whatever his sister has. So we are um, definitely looking for something that will keep him occupied. I'm a firm believer in educational kind of stuff. And so Melissa and Doug, not sponsored, just happen to spend tons and tons of money, has always been my go-to. Um, I learned about them when I was homeschooling my own kids, and I used it in my um, preschool class at church. They're, some of their products, they have amazingly well-made um, educational toys and educational supplements for children of all age ranges. And so I love that. Um, I'm really feeling like it'll probably be something for Cassius that will be from the Melissa and Doug line. And then of course he needs clothes. He's growing like a ragweed. I'm super excited about that. And I don't know, that's literally all I have for this morning. I didn't upload the video yesterday that I made yesterday, yesterday. So both of them, both, I made a two part when I have to splice it together. Um, I'm gonna try to do that tonight. That video and this video probably will not even go up until later tonight or early tomorrow. Um, while I'm at work passing out presents, I'll probably try to upload it. But I haven't been able to do like lunch in the middle of the day and things like that. It's just, for some reason, it's like <laughs> nothing is working out the way I wanted it to still haven't gotten to that true crime video where all of the information is literally sitting right on my desk right on my desk and haven't been able to do that yet so um i don't know why i cannot seem to fit more stuff into my day anyway so that's it guys i know this one is kind of boring and it just it is what it is it's christmas eve i'm on my way to work um, have all of my good choice stuff with me. I did not pack a lunch again today. 
I do still have some stuff at work though, so I'm not worried about that. Um, and I literally am maybe 20 seconds from a Walmart, which is nice because I can run up there and get a salad if that's what I'm wanting at lunchtime. But my appetite has been so suppressed over the last couple of days that when it is my lunchtime, I'm having to really make myself even eat anything. I have noticed that I'm extremely like dry and dehydrated feeling by the time I get home at night. So that, why do I get the hiccups almost every time? Um, I'm definitely not drinking enough water, which is really not beneficial. Um, so I gotta work on that, definitely have to work on that. And, I'm going to have to make a couple more parts and put into this one. I gotta get my life together, guys. I've mastered the morning <laughs> with the shake and the phenomene and driving to work, but the rest of the day is just ridiculous. So let's see if I can't do better today. So make good food choices. Um, as always, if you guys are on your own journey, finished your journey, want to start a journey, comment, let me know, let's support each other, no negativity, and I promise I will have a lunch video today. It's going to happen, period. All right, guys, see you at lunch. Peace and palm love.